All right, I know sometimes I go on and on, so I'll try and make this short and sweet. First word, grazed. Grazed is a verb that means to feed on growing grass or fed on growing grass. Um, so the horse grazed in the pasture. In the story, the Kelpie talks about the girl, Alice. She watched over the cattle as they grazed. So you see animals grazing in fields. Um, these words are all from Kelpie or the Berserker and the Baby. I'm going to keep going because if you need to write it, take longer to write it down, you can always pause it. Remedy. A remedy is something that corrects or fixes something that is wrong. So, they hope a stop sign will be a remedy for speeding drivers in the neighborhood. So, the problem is that people are speeding. The solution or the remedy it could be a stop sign. In the Berserker and the Baby, they were worried about their brother. Says Thorstein knew the remedy was a baby for his brother. Interesting remedy for the solution, but that's what they came up with, or for the problem. So yeah, it's a synonym for solution. Exquisite. Exquisite is an adjective meaning very beautiful, made in a lovely or delicate way. So the queen wore an exquisite diamond necklace. In the Kelpie, it describes the man, or Kelpie, um, who shapeshifted into a man, saying he was well-dressed and wore shoes of exquisite leather. So we know it's kind of like fancy because it's a, um, paired with he was well-dressed. If it said he was well-dressed but wore shoes of whatever, we know they maybe were different. But because it's and, we can figure out that they're probably similar. We don't always think about it, but those connecting words can tell us a lot. Gaped. Some of you, I did this in small group. Gaped means you stare in surprise at something, often with your mouth open, you're shocked, you're in awe. <gasps> gaped at something. So the fans gaped at the celebrity. Um... In the story, it says, Thorir was shocked into silence and gaped at his brother. Again, if he's shocked, what is he probably doing while well, staring in surprise? Glistening. Glistening means it is shining or sparkling with reflected light. It can either be a verb or an adjective. To glisten is a verb. But when we add that ing, so it can be used to describe something. In the sentences, they're both verbs, though. The candlesticks were glistening after being polished. So we can think, okay, they were polished. Somebody rubbed them down, so they're shining. They're glistening. Uh, in the story, it talks about the man's eyes. The eyes looking at her were glistening. So it's like, hmm... In this case, I think probably because he was a water shapeshifter Kelpie. Contentedly. So content means you're satisfied. Contented means like, ah, yep, you're feeling satisfied. So contentedly describes a way someone is doing something. So they're doing it in a way that is satisfied with the way things are. So she sank into her bed contentedly. In the story, when Alice was brushing his hair, the young man smiled and closed his eyes contentedly. So again, it describes how they are doing it because it's actually called an adverb. A verb is the action. How you do the action or describing the action is an adverb. They often end in ly. Not always, but often. Like quickly, slowly. So contentedly. Unruly, difficult or impossible to control, wild. The first sentence, the babysitter tried to calm the unruly child. So it can be difficult to control in that way. In the story, it talks about, I think Alice is talking to the man and says, your hair is truly unruly and knotted. So some of you have rather unruly hair, especially if it's curly and has a tendency to get a little wild. Uh, we could call that unruly. 
Um, let's just... Inevitably, the last one means certain to happen. They will inevitably be sad when they realize all the candy is gone. So certainly, um, it would be a synonym for it. In the story, it talks about how Vikings inevitably get tired. When they go on voyages, they do so many things. Inevitably or certainly, they are going to get tired. Make sure you've taken your notes, written it down so that you can use them in your own sentences. Remember, you can modify the sentences that I've given you if you need that uh, help a little bit. And remember to capitalize and use punctuation as well. Good luck.